Hey everybody, it's your girl Tennessee North. Yeah, I'm here with a video. And today's video, um, it's gonna be simple. All my recipes are simple. Um, today I thought I'd do some, um, some fried apples, some fried corn, some fried chicken, and some smothered chicken. Um, Everybody don't like smothered chicken, so I'm going to fry some, too. And I'm going to make um, some gumbo. Now, this gumbo is um, my version because I've had to tweak this. Because um, a lot of my family that's coming over don't um, eat pork. And... Um, they don't like spice. So I got to work with this thing. I got to build some flavor. And, um, hey, I'm going to do a chicken and sausage gumbo. Um, but I'm going to work it out. You know, gumbo is really just a Cajun soup. And like all soups, you put what you want in it because it's your soup. So and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put what I want in it. Um, yeah, today, um, you know, I always talk about something. Um, sometimes people, for reasons that we don't know or may not understand, um, suffer with a mental illness. Um, they, and what they're suffering with tends to uh, affect other people. Sometimes in a bad way. Um, and sometimes people who suffer with mental illness don't know it. But the people around them sometimes suffer because they don't know how to help the person who's got the, the problem. Unless that person um, admit to it, um, it's a no-win situation. Sometimes the people who suffer with the mental illness hurt the ones that they should love. And you know who suffers the most? It's children. And when you inflict that, that pain that, that's inside of you, that, that you're suffering with, that you're fighting, those demons you're fighting with, and you inflict those on children, They grow up and start fighting demons, too. Um, it's a hard road to getting them back to where they need to be. Especially when it's a child and they have grown up suffering because of somebody else's mental illness. And then when they become adults and they're free from that, they 
They start fighting their demons. They start thinking that um, all the things that happened to them was their fault. Uh, mental abuse is just as worse as physical abuse. And people on the outside, they try to help. Sometimes they make it worse. And they meant good. How do you help? A child that's now an adult. Children that's who are now adults. I'm asking for some prayers. If you know somebody going through something like that, pray for them. I also pray for the one who inflicted their pain into those children who are now adults. I pray they get help too. Because these now, these these adults now, these children that are adults now, they need help. You know someone like that? Pray for them. Pray for their strength. That they overcome it. And don't inflict it on none of their children. Onto this meal. Well, also fry some apples and fry some corn. I think I might have said that. Let's get to this video. Okay, I'm going to start with my fried apples. Um, my game is on. So it's on the wall. So I'm going to be looking back and forth while I do this meal. It's going to be simple. So I'm going to fry some apples. I got my apples right here. I'm going to core them and just slice them. This core works wonderful. Yeah. So, and you've seen me fry apples before. I'm going to core these and get them all sliced up so I can get them in, in the skillet. I got my chicken and sausage already cut up over there. And, um,
This app, these apple cores, oh my god, they're the best things. Makes your job a lot easier. Yeah, makes the job a lot easier. You get them done, and once you take the core out of it, it's nothing to slice in it. So let me get these all cored out, and I'll be back. Okay. Look who's with me. Thing two and thing three. Say hi. He's two and he's three. Those are my grandsons. Yeah. They spent the night with Nana. Yeah. Um... They're just going to spend the day on with Nana. Their mom will come later. Dad will come later. Mom and Dad will come later. Eat dinner. They're some good boys. They're bad. But they're good boys. They're just babies. So, got my apples chopped up. Well, sliced up. So, um, I'm going to get my apples going. And then I'm going to get to the... Get to the uh, corn and then to the um, gumbo. I'm going to make my chicken my last thing that I start on. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, I'm putting my apples in here. These are going to cook down. That's why I got them piled up high. Let me get a top. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> I put a top on it. And I'm going to let it cook down some. And all I have in here is butter and a little vegetable oil. And I'm going to let these cook down. And when they start getting soft and start cooked down, I'm going to toss them around a little bit. And cook them till they get down. Then I'm going to add my sugar and my cinnamon. A little nutmeg. Hold on. Okay. I got my corn out of the freezer. I took it out last night. And, uh, and got it unthawed. So you can see right here it's unthawed. You have to excuse the noise. I got thing one and thing two. Yeah. You know anything about two and three year old? Yeah. So, I got my corn here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little salt. I'm going to add some onion powder. Excuse me. I'm going to add some black pepper. Get down, Junior. And I'm going to add a little garlic powder. This is where you start seasoning. You got to season the corn. And I'm going to also put a little silver in it. No, no. Mm-mm. And I'm going to add some flour. Joan, you know, get down, son. He's trying to escape over the child gate. So you just kind of sprinkle a little, salt, a little um, excuse me, a little flour in here. And then I'm going to give it a stir. And I'm going to add some sugar. Junior, get down, son. I'm going to add, just kind of sprinkle in. I would say that's probably uh, maybe um, 
It's not even a half right there. You kind of got to... You got to season it, then taste it, and then tell what you need next. Get down, get down, get down. Okay. Then I'm going to add a little water to it. Hold on, let me check my apples. Okay. You see how my apples have cooked down and reduced? So, now I'm going to add a little nutmeg. Some cinnamon. And the sugar. Now you put as much sugar as you want. You know how sweet or how tart you want your apples to be. I'm going to shake by the... I don't know. If you take the top off, it'll stop making liquid. See, now I just want it to fry. You leave your top on long enough for it to reduce down. To get them, you know, soft. Let's see here. We need any more sugar. Or right, cinnamon. That's perfect. Don't need nothing. And our apples are ready. I'm going to cut these off, move them off the eye. Hold on. Okay, back to our corn. So, I'm going to add a little more salt. This is where you get your taste going, just to be sure. Clean spoon. Get an iron bag. No, no. I'm going to add a little more onion powder. I mean, black pepper. And onion powder. Another clean spoon. I'm the dishwasher. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Hold on. So, let's stir it again. Nope. Wrong spoon. Here's the clean spoon. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some, <clears throat> like I said, I have to modify this meal because a lot of my family that's coming, they don't do pork. Normally I would put some bacon in the skillet and fry it and take the grease from that, put the corn on and yeah, but I got to modify it today. So. I'm going to use some um, 
some um, oil, some seasoned oil. No, 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 no. Some seasoned oil. And um, I'm going to make it work. Put some onions in it. It'll be good. You'll see. Oh. Okay, in here, I got a little cooking oil. I'm going to add some onions. You know I like my onions. And if you don't like onions, do not put none in yours. But I do. So I'm putting some in mine. And also in this, I'm going to add some butter. <coughs> so I'm putting my onions around a little bit. And that's some seasoned oil. And that's from cooking um, these right here, some pork chops. I mean, not pork chops. These was some chicken wings. And to that, I'm going to add some butter. Like I said, normally I would have uh, put some bacon in here and took the droppings from the bacon. Okay, now I'm going to add my corn. Now I might be adding a little more water to this. If you can smell it. And this corn is super sweet. This is that peaches and cream. Not, oh, sorry about that. Am I, I am going to add a little more water to it. Come back. Come back. Okay, I'm going to let that start getting hot. Hold on. Okay, I'm back over here. Stirring my corn. You don't want it to stick. And you don't want to cook it fast because you want the corn, corn to... Um, Give me a taste. See if I need anything. No, I think it's okay. No, give me that. No. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, keep it stirred on the bottom because you don't want it to stick. And I think I'm going to add some of Sylvia.
Taste. 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 Perfect. Okay, I'm going to let this simmer and get over here to our sausage. Okay. Back to my corn. And it's done. Alright. Let's get over here to this other, my sausage. Hold on. Okay. So... To get my gumbo started, I have a little over a pound of chicken, maybe about two pounds of chicken, chopped up into cubes, onion, celery, green pepper, and I also have my sausage here. Be down. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to cut my, um, he's helping me commentate. Um, that's the two-year-old. Okay, so I'm going to cut my sausage up into cubes. Get down. Cut it into bite size. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not making a big pot. Because I'm having um, smothered chicken as well. And fried chicken. No. Oh, oh. Huh. You have to excuse me. I have to take a little small little break because um, thing one and thing two is busy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. No, no, no. Back up. But no. Hold on one. Okay, I got my sausage cut up. Now I just need to, um, I'm going to chop my celery up to um, bite size. I'm not going to chop it up too fine because I like to taste mine. It's not going to be crunchy because it's, it's going to cook down. Yeah. Get down, man. No, man. Please stop. Why, Papa? And you cut yours the way you want to cut yours, but I don't like mine cut up real small. I like to be able to see it and taste it. Did y'all notice I had my Titan Z rings on? Yeah. Yeah. They're not doing too bad. They're just down by five. Right now. Third quarter. Yeah. So. And these are the sizes that I'm making mine. 
Yeah, bite size. Wait, don't move Nana's camera and then move. Me, 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 me. So let me get this celery chopped up. I don't want to keep holding you. Hold on. Let me get it chopped up. Me, 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 me. Okay, you can see by my face, we didn't win. Mm -mm. We have a backup quarterback that tears my nerve all to be. And 24 to 16. We had plenty of chances to catch up. Our main quarterback out with an injury. Yeah. Can't win them all. I just want to win some of them. Yeah. Oh, I'll be watching again. I think we got to buy a bye week next baby. week. Yeah. Baby, baby, baby. So, I'm with my meal. I have my holy trinity. Onions, green pepper, celery, all chopped up. Got my sausage, got my chicken. Let's go to the stove. Okay, I got my pan on. I'm going to add some vegetable oil. I'm going to put my sausage in and brown that. I'm getting this spoon. I'm going to brown my sausage so I can get some color on it. And being that this is a chicken and uh, sausage gumbo, I'm going to have to build some flavor because I can't put any kind of pork in it. So, And I'm not using andouille sausage because I don't like andouille sausage. That's why I'm going with the beef. I got a uh, beef kielbasa and I got beef um, smoked sausage. Hold on. Okay. So we're trying to get some color on our sausage here. And as I was saying, I don't like andouille. So we're not using andouille. I'm trying to get you see in the pot a little better. You want to get some color on it. I'm going to brown my chicken in the same oil because you want that flavor. And I'm going to add some other stuff in here to give it some flavor.
I have another kind of sausage, beef sausage, that I'm going to use. It has like a country smoke taste to it. I had a nephew and my youngest daughter came to my rescue. God answers prayers. All you gotta do is ask. Yeah. Get down. Chef just came. Okay, now I'm going to take this sausage up. Hold on. Okay. So I'm removing these sausage. This is a another sausage. So all this stuff right here is adding flavor. The baby. The baby wipes are in the diaper bag. Okay. Now, I'm going to throw my chicken in there. Now, I'm just getting some color on this. I'm not worried about trying to get it done. I better get done in the in the gumbo all the way. Well, it's kind of searing it a little bit.
gonna stir this a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna take the chicken up. Okay, now I'm going to add my vegetables in here and kind of saute them a little bit. Toss them around and kind of get them kind of picking up some seasoning here. And I'm going to throw a little garlic in here. Okay, I got a few, about four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna chop up and add that to it. Now with this garlic, I'm gonna chop it down. You don't want to bite into a piece of garlic. Mint it down a little bit. You want to throw it in last because you don't want the garlic to burn. 
I'm sweating down the other one just a little bit just to get my flavor so it'll be in my roux because I'm going to make my roux in that same pot. I think that'll do. Hold on. Okay, I'm adding my garlic. Toss this around a little bit. Because you don't want the garlic to burn, so you just kind of want to sweat it a little bit. Remove this and start on our roof. Hold on. Okay, now I'm going to add some oil. About a cup of oil. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to add my flour. Little bit enough. That's not quite a cold cup. And I'm gonna add my oil a little at a time. May add about a cup of oil, but I'm just gonna add it a little at a time to get my flour incorporated. Because you don't want it to clump. So you got to kind of cook this kind of slow like. I just like to get my flour already incorporated. Then <laughs> add the rest of my oil. Because you need the oil because it's got to cook. And until that turns like a nice chocolatey color. You want a dark color for your roux. Okay. And that's the rest of my oil. You see it's light now, but I keep working it. So as it turns colors, I bring you back. I'm gonna keep staring. Okay. We're about 20 minutes. We had a light brown. So yeah, we still going. Hold on. Okay. So this is where we at. This. I'm good with this one right here. See how dark brown it is? So, from here, we're going to add our our vegetables back in. I'm going to add my chicken and sausage back in here. I'm going to add some water. And I'm going to add some 
chicken stuff. She's going to lose her job, too, just like what happened to Valdez. She started. Not Valdez, but the other. Yeah, she's going to lose her job and everything. She's going to find out who's fucking Bob. Like I said, if she would have did her research, she would have known that. Like, this is what's been happening with her. You already watched the video after that? Yeah, I uh, yeah, I watched that yesterday. Early morning. Oh, I don't keep waiting till Sunday. Yeah, I wake up early. I wake up early in the morning. Now I think he comes out Friday. So I haven't watched. So let me go get my chicken broth. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna add my chicken broth. It was a couple, two cups of water, two cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna add some thyme. I'm gonna add some Dano, the original. I'm going to put some Obey in here. Yeah, I mean, because the business part, there's a the connect. Oh, okay. So, when he, when he gets Miguel out the way, it's going to be over when we get him out the way. I'm going to take some Obey in here. Stop, man. What are you doing? Just a little, because I don't want too much. And I'm gonna add some herb garden. A little Sylvia. And I'm going to add some stewed tomatoes because I want to. Flavor. Perfect. Then we'll put a top on this and let it simmer. Put me on some rice and let me get to the rest of the meal. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to um you can't be saying that you walk by the country. That's the sign that don't want to be seen. So I'm gonna put my biscuits together and I'm going to use the complete. Yeah. Uh, hold on. All right. Getting ready to take my first batch of chicken up. And that's my gumbo. 
Can you see it? That's my gumbo. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking my first batch of chicken up. Yeah. So let me get another batch down. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to add a little milk to this flour. To this complete biscuit mix. I'm going to go get the flour over there. And you just want to put in enough milk just to get it together into a bowl. You know, I've showed this before. Can I help you? My hands are clean. So, I've got to add a little more. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, stop, hold on. Just hold on, wait a minute. So I got to stir it enough to get it all mixed up. This complete. It has everything already in it. So we got our mix. Everything already in. Side, and I'm going to add some flour to my surface here. Hold on, I'm going to put my mix in. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You're spreading it all over. Mm -hmm. So now I gotta, gotta work it up. I work it up with you. Hold on, hold on. Ray, come here a minute, please. Hold on. I gotta give a little more flour. Okay. Okay, we got our flour. Our, we got our biscuit pressed out here. And I'm not going to roll it out. I usually just press mine and cut. Okay, so I got help today. Please, Chef. So I'm going to spray my pan at the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to give it a spray. And see, Chef is going to cut out these biscuits. Start right there. Yeah, press down. It's always good to have extra hands. Cut around here. Cut around the edges here. Try to get as many as you can out of it. Yeah, right there. Right there. Hi, Mom. 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 Hi, Mom.
Press right here. Trying to get as many biscuits as we can. I think we're gonna have a lot of people. I'm gonna spread them out so they don't stick together. Wait a minute, you got a lot to do. Yeah. Put that in there. Our pan's looking pretty good, isn't it? Hold on, we'll be back. Let her get these cut out. Look what Sue Chef did. Mm. Sue Chef biscuits. Yeah. Okay. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to smother some chicken. We're almost down on the, the home stretch. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Still got some grease. Still got some chicken prime. Now I'm going to smother some. Not a lot, but a few. I'm going to put some onions. You know everything I cook gonna have onions. So I'm gonna put onions in here. I've already fried my chicken. And I'm going to put some green pepper in here for flavor. I'm going to cut some strips. The family's already arriving. I'm about to wind it up. About to put the biscuits in the oven. Smothering this chicken doesn't take long. So I'm gonna render that down a little bit. Let me get some flour. I got my rice in the rice cooker. And to this, I'm going to add some of that seasoned flour that I've been frying the chicken with. Like so. I'm going to cook that flour, that rawness off the flour.
Let me get some water. Add a little more flour to it. Cook that for a few minutes, get the rawness off the flour. Hold on. Okay. Pour some water in. You do a little water at a time, that way you can tell your thickness and how much you want, how thick you want your gravy. Now I'm going to season this with some onion powder. black pepper and just a little salt Get a spoon and taste your gravy. <laughs> Need something else. I put some Sylvia in it. And this is some browning. Full strength of your water now. Now I'm going to put my chicken in. Thank you. 
Little more water. And I'm gonna put a top on it. And let it go. Get the last of my chicken up. Hold on. Okay. I'm about to end this video. My house is full. So. Smothered chicken. Fried corn. There's some apples hiding there. Let me back up. Apples. And regular fried chicken. And then the gumbo. Yeah. Canada Dry for the drink. So, okay. Let me speak to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what this gumbo is talking about. You know how we share. We can share. I'm going to give a taste with you. Hold on. Let me see if she's telling the truth, y'all. Mm. Let me see if she's telling the truth. Got another taste tester here. Let's see. Do your eyes roll back in your head? They crossed. Mm. She crossed her eyes. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's right. So ready for me a bowl. How about, how about the gumbo? I'm ready for me a bowl. Mm -hmm. Is your family ready to eat yet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's real good. They're eating. Let's get a real Louisiana style from Tennessee. It's called Tennessee Louisiana style. Mm. New Tennessee. Not New Orleans, mm. but New Tennessee. Mm. That's real Tennessee Northwest. Mm. Piece of the chicken. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you. My daughter ain't you. Mm -mm. I'm sure I ain't. The gumbo right. I'm gonna pull them both for the gumbo. Here's the apple. <laughs> I can smell and I already know it's gonna be like No, more the Eagles lose too. doing that. Mm. Mm. Smell chicken. Get your food, guys. Are you done? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's corn. It's a peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two chef biscuits. Mm -hmm. Goes perfect with those apples.
Sue Chef did her thing. Mm -hmm. Mama, you coming to the Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I got a piece of fried chicken there. Sorry, no reach up. this uh, video go because um, the family is here mm -hmm. and um, they want to talk to me they know I'm on video but nobody's paying that any attention so if you like anything about this video give me a thumbs up like share subscribe <laughs> Tell somebody about Old Tennessee Noah. Hit that notification button in the top so you know the next time. And you know I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. See you next time.